It's been three long years since we have been able to visit our sister SAR and boy have we missed her. While travel restrictions have been a major deterrent to Hong Kongers wanting to cross the border, quite a few businesses such as integrated resorts have been able to adapt and more or less thrive during the pandemic. Here's what you missed in Macau! Fashioned like the small streets of Lisbon in Portugal, St. Lazarus used to be a sleepy part of Macau, visited only by locals and the occasional couple seeking a romantic backdrop for their pre-wedding photos. But because of travel restrictions, St. Lazarus experienced somewhat of a mini economic boom, with more visitors and new businesses opening in the area. During the pandemic, we decided to open here, uh, Three Sardines. We couldn't leave Macau, so our, our local people has to rediscover Macau. And, uh, and this area, well, was, uh, I think, uh, more populated by the people, they, they come to see what's going on, what's new, and regarding many shops opening in this area, the, the locals start to come more to San Lazar neighborhood. Every business and, uh, and the individuals get uh, some help from the government, it was very important, but I think the most important was us to be creative and to, to step up and having uh, the new concepts, the new ideas, uh, for the people that was looking for something in Macau to, to have a new place to go, a new place to show to the friends, to, to enjoy Macau again. The quaint restaurant has vintage knickknacks the owner has collected on his many trips to Portugal and specializes in petiscos, or the Portuguese counterpart of tapas. Chef Pedro, three sardines have become so popular in the last three years. What are your best dishes? Well, so we have here the three sardines, the dish that give the name to, to the house. Uh, we have pastel shafts from our shop to open during pandemic. This is our Pichinhos da Horta, the fried green beans. Actually, they are made by the tempura that we taught the Japanese how to do many centuries ago. Uh, we get the octopus, we get our quail eggs, our baby snails. And to pair with our delicacies, we have our laser beer that we brew here in San Lazaro and can only be drinking in three servings. And I can tell it's all delicious. Something to try next time you're in San Lazarus. Full of Portuguese vibe and similar to St. Lazarus, Taipa Village heavily relied on tourism before the pandemic, but they also had to learn to adapt to the local clientele since and are better for it. Pamela, on our way into Taipa Village, it seems like there's a lot of tourists. But can you tell me how the pandemic affected business in the area? Because Taipa Village is a tourist destination, so we have been receiving a lot of tourists. But however, during these three years, we need to shift our business more to the local people. We are trying to create more special promotions. For example, some buy one, get one free, happy hour promotion to attract the working class. But uh, we are very lucky to have a lot of them to support us during the pandemic period. But the largest institutions that took advantage of the pandemic lull were the integrated resorts. Announced in 2018, the London and Macau was supposed to be a multi-year renovation project to rebrand the Sands Katai Central Complex and refurbish the hotel tower. During the pandemic, we actually accelerated a number of projects in design and construction. When we need to renovate hotel, right? We ran away hotel by each levels, but right now I can close the entire hotel and complete it. We're actually able to build the entire hotel without or with minimum disruptions to the hotel guests and as well as the guests coming into the Londoner. So now the travel restrictions are removed. We are very happy that we have all the new products to launch and welcome to our guests. To bring more family-friendly elements to the resorts, it has also introduced the Japanese interactive art exhibition Team Lab to Macau. Team Lab is an art collective, a group of international specialists such as artists, programmers and architects that explore the confluence of art, science, technology and the natural world. 
This 5,000 square meter permanent exhibition comprising of eight meter tall artworks is described as a body immersive space. We opened the team lab before the summer holiday in 2020, focusing to market to our local market and students' family because the team lab is designed with almost 50% of the elements are suitable for kids. Now the international market and regional market can come to Macau. We will promote this exhibition team lab in Asia as well as other countries because from our experience, these type of attractions is always attracting overseas tourists to Macau. The immersive experience of Team Lab is one of a kind. The virtual world created is a marvel of beauty. However, Team Lab isn't the only entertainment project that has opened to Macau's local market. Scott, Zip City was in the works like since 2018. Yeah. So what happened when the pandemic rolled around? What challenges did you guys face? Well, the biggest challenge we faced is we couldn't come to Macau very easily, but not just us. Actually, also all of the companies we were working with to design and, and collaborate on this kind of very special and unique zip line. Uh, many of these companies were international, so we had to find a whole new set of partners that were based here in Macau, and then everyone had to communicate by Zoom. These lights were programmed from Paris via Zoom, but you know, considering the challenges, it went very, very smoothly, and uh, it's amazing actually that we were able to do this. So when you opened, you basically opened to um, a local market. Yeah. Um, what were you doing differently, like you know, as opposed to if you opened into you know, an international market as planned? So we focused very much on the local families and had lots of different offers and repeat business offers for local people. And people came back time and time again. You know, the kids love it here. They have their birthday parties here. They fly four or five times and then come back the next week and want to do it all over again. So it was a great way for us to learn how people interact with this place um, using a local audience. And, you know, I think they also wanted something fun to do during the pandemic. And it was a new, nice new addition for them. So I think it came at a good time for the local market as well. With the quarantine requirements scrapped and ferry schedules from Hong Kong resuming, Macau is ready for business. There is a lot of fun to be had at our sister SAR, so zip on over whenever you can.